uh, McLuhan, whom I worked with, warned about the uh, uh, impact of television and claimed that television was having a negative effect on education. People pointed to educational television, and McLuhan said, educational television is a contradiction in terms because you cannot interact with the images on the television and the words that are coming at you. The information is coming at you, and there's no time to think about what you're receiving. When you read a book, you can pause at the end of a sentence, think about what you've read, connect it with what you read earlier, and you have time to think. With television, there's no time to think. You become a passive receptacle of information. And this is not education. Education means to draw out. So there's nothing being drawn out of you when you're watching television. Just things are flowing into you. So McLuhan was very skeptical of electrical information. Unfortunately, he died in uh, he died December 31st, 1980, just as computers, microcomputers, were becoming available. Now, in the age of uh, mainframe computers, uh, only scientists uh, and technicians had access to computing. But now, with microcomputers, uh, they entered the schools. And now, children were able to interact with the words on the screen, create words on the screen, and now, and the television, I mean, sorry, the, the computer could compete with television. It was entertaining. The children could I interact with the information and actually see the creation of their words on the screen. So, uh, all of a sudden, this medium of the screen, which they became used to through television, became a medium through which they could interact intellectually. And so learning was able to take place. Uh, with the internet, all of the impacts of the computer were accelerated and amplified because uh, the um, internet allowed the user to access information from all over the globe. With computers, you, had to only, you could only access the information that you had downloaded into your computer. And so there was a limited amount of information you could deal with. But now with the internet, the world is your oyster. You could go anywhere. So it had an enormous impact on education. Uh, Marshall McLuhan was accused of not having a methodology. Uh, and his methodology, but he did have a methodology, and his methodology was to have no methodology. That is, he was a keen observer of the world, a keen observer of communication media. And he felt that if you had a theory, it would distort the way in which you looked at things. And so, basically, he was uh, in, the, in, the, in the spirit of science, because the spirit of science is to observe. And from your observations, you then formulate um, hypotheses. So although he didn't have a method, he had a, a number of insights into the nature of media. Uh, I've actually written in my book, The Sixth Language, chapter two is devoted to uh, a description of his methodology. Uh, I titled the chapter, There Was Method in His Madness, using the line from Shakespeare. When they talk about Hamlet, there was method in his madness. Although he was mad, he, there was a logic to what he was saying. So there was a logic to what McLuhan was, was saying about media. When you're in the oral age, you have no concept of anything else. That's just the natural way. When you enter into the literary world, it's true that you still use spoken language to communicate, but the ground in which you exist is this literary ground this one of being an expert, of knowing more than the next guy, where you're a specialist. And the way you become a specialist is you know more and more about less and less. You, 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 you don't see the connection of the thing that you study with other things. And so the problem with the, uh, the specialist is they don't see the whole picture. 
uh, specialism allows people to build factories that produce a product in the most effective, efficient way possible, but they don't care about the fact that they're emitting poisons from their factory into the environment and destroying the world in which we live. So that is the harm of specialization. Now, with electric communication, McLuhan felt we were moving back into uh, some of the patterns of oral communication because now we we're being flooded by information on all sides because with television, we got information from every part of the globe. And he defined the world as the global village. Now, Marshall McLuhan did not live long enough to see the impact of computing. And therefore, with all respect to my friend Marshall McLuhan that I worked with, I have to say that I believe that there's a fourth era now, which I would call the digital era. There's a difference between electric mass media and digital media like computers and cell phones and iPods. Um, and the difference is that with mass communication, it's a one-way stream of information from the source of the information to the audience. Whereas with computing, the flow of information is two-way. With the internet, you interact through email, you interact with people you correspond with. But if you're on a website, a well-designed website has a chance for you to interact. You interact with the information. You choose what information you want to view. When you have things like hypertext, you can move from one um, web, website to another. And you design the path of information. You design what you're going to learn. Whereas with television, there's no chance for you to design what you're going to learn. And we know that people learn best when they follow their curiosity. And so the internet is an incredibly uh, powerful tool for learning and is transforming schools and will continue to transform schools as teachers learn to make use of this medium. And the real revolution is going to occur when the kids that grew up with the internet, I think it's called Generation Y, when they become the teachers. Because the teachers that didn't grow up with the internet, those that are not digital natives, uh, don't know all the ways in which this medium could be used for education. So I believe education will be transformed by the digital revolution that we are all living through. I am old enough to have seen the advent of television. When I was a kid, I listened to radio. Then I saw television. I saw microcomputers coming in. I saw the impact of microcomputers on my children. Um, and so I've lived through a period of great change. And although I'm not a digital native, I can see that it will completely transform our understanding of schools and learning.